Hi everyone, welcome to this lecture. In this lecture, I'll show you how you can access and export a Modis land cover product, okay? So in, in this course, we've seen um, various modeling exercises. We have uh, developed a land use land cover product ourselves by capturing a training data, running a model, and then generating a land cover prediction map, all right? But you might be also interested to know or access existing land cover databases. Uh, the global scale, right? So this is uh, one of the example in which I'll show you how you can access a Modis land cover product from um, the Earth Engineer archive. Let's get started. First, let's import a, a, a steady boundary. Um, in this case, I'll use Zambia. And let's import the Modis uh, land cover product, which has uh, an ID. You can define, you can change the, the year by here. Uh, to 2017 2016 so you can change the year if you want to uh, in this case I'll use uh, 2017 data and I'll also uh, select the LC uh, type one because there are different land cover types um, and then I'll clip it by steady area okay and the next step is to create let's visualize you know how that data looks so let's define a visualization parameter um, different colors for the different um, uh, data values. So in this case, we have 17 different classes and I'm just defining uh, colors for each of them. Uh, you can have you know different color palettes if you want to and um, call this um, Modis land uh, data that I have already created here and then clip it by uh, Zambia again uh, and then just provide the uh, visualization parameter which I defined here, just name it, uh, you know, IGBP uh, land cover Zambia, and then I'll adjust the zoom level and then run. Once I click run, I should be able to see the land cover product, Modis land cover product, excellent. Okay, so this is my Modis uh, land cover product, which has 70 di 17 different, uh, one seven, 17 different land cover classes, uh, I can visualize it here or I can export it um, uh, out of Earth Engine to access it in QGIS or other um, you know, softwares uh, or just do some other analysis using this data, okay? So let's do the export, uh, the export uh, function. So I'll export to um, image, I'll export it to drive, so I use uh, the current image, the Modis um, land, to be exported. So I uh, define my image here and description. I'll just write some, um, you know, some some name that I can remember. This data is a Modis land cover, right? When I look at it on my Google Drive, and then the spatial scale for the Modis land cover product is 500 meters. So, and then also uh, finally, uh, I'll define a region, which in this case is Zambia. And so this script will um, export the, the image, the Modis land cover product on my Google Drive. So if I run, um, I'll save this script and then run. So when I run that, I'll have something uh, actively going on the tasks bar. So um, it asks me to run it. I'll just click uh, Modis land cover run. So once um, I confirm that it's running, so I'll, uh, I'll see this Modis land cover data uh, in a while once this export is done, okay?